Hi, my name is Martin Perhiniak. Today I'm going to show you an amazing new feature of Photoshop CS6. It's under the filter menu and it's called Adaptive Wide Angle. Basically, what with this filter what we can achieve is to correct the wide angle lens photographs. So whenever you have a fisheye lens, for example, you will always have these curved lines where it should be a, a straight line in your photograph. And with this option, you can automatically or manually correct these lines to also make the curved lines into, into straight lines. Obviously, you don't always need to do this. Sometimes uh, the artistic approach uh, is that you want to show these curved lines in your in your uh, composition. But for example, here in this photograph, I would like to give it a, a try to see how it looks with the straight lines in the background. So let's see how it works. All I need to do is to go to the filter menu, choose adaptive wide angle. This is what we get if we go to this filter menu and automatically it it recognizes the camera model and sometimes it recognizes the lens model as well but you don't have to worry if, if it doesn't recognize the lens that you were using because you can do everything manually so help Photoshop to find uh, the lines on the photographs that you want to have uh, straightened so here, here under the correction you can choose different options in this case, I'm going to choose fisheye because this was uh, a fisheye lens used for this photograph. By the way, uh, the photographer who took these photographs is called Imre Tamás and he's an amazing nature photographer. And uh, in this case, he was in India and he took some amazing photographs of the people there. So I chose correction fisheye. And after that, what I'm going to use is called the constraint tool. As you can see, we have a couple of options here on the left or tools, but the most important one is the constraint tool, because with this one, I can click and drag a line to set a straight line in the photograph. Now, it automatically makes a better result, but with setting this middle point exactly on the line on the photograph, it will make it completely straight. And as you can see, it already stretches the photograph, the outer boundaries of the photograph. And um, that's not a problem because we have another tool for that in Photoshop. I will talk about that a little bit later. But for now, just after doing the, this one manual option, I can show you before and after by just clicking on the preview option here at the bottom. So that was before and that is after. As you can see, it, it's already much better. And you can also see, if you want to see what happens in the background, if you click on Show Mesh, Photoshop will show you what happens under the hood. So you can see how the mesh is distorted and the whole photograph um, in order to have a straight line in the background. The most amazing thing in this uh, filter is, I think, is that it keeps everything sharp. So that's a really important thing. You don't want to uh, smudge any pixels in your photograph uh, while you are straightening these lines. You want to keep them very sharp. And I will show you at the end that we have every little detail really sharp in the photograph. And as you can see, if I again turn it on and off again, on the portrait itself, so the face of this man, you can see it's already much better just by adjusting one line in the photograph. We already have a much better perspective in the background and also a nice undistorted uh, face uh, on, the, on the man. Okay, so that's, that's already much better. But if you wish, you can continue and carry on doing these changes. Let's just say that's a very curved line here on the top. The amazing thing that Photoshop already recognized the distortion uh, caused by the lens, but you can always adjust it later on. So to make sure it's uh, customized the way you want it. Okay. And then let's say this is another line here, which I want to have it straight. Okay, great. Now let's have a horizontal line as well adjusted. So I'm going to move it a bit around something like that then this line in the background should be also straight yep and this one here in the foreground should be also straight 
and I think that's enough for now you can always carry on doing this and setting all lines straight if you want but in this case I'm happy with this result if I go back and forth you can see the changes we achieved okay and then you can also play with scale focal length and crop factor but in this case I'm I don't uh, I don't want to change this so I just simply click on OK because I would like to show you something that you can do after you go back to Photoshop so let's see again before and after okay now that we are here in Photoshop what I can do to uh, extend the photograph instead of cropping it I'm going to extend these parts here in the background uh, by using the magic wand, I'm just simply holding down shift and clicking on these empty areas in the photograph on the edges. Then I go to select, modify, expand and set the expand option to 10 pixels. So I'm expanding my selection and then I go to edit and I choose fill. And under that, I make sure that I use content aware option and then I just simply click on OK and with this option Photoshop will automatically fill in those gaps uh, based on the, the areas around those gaps and most of the times it works really well as you can see that was before and after this is a feature which was introduced in CS5 which is still relevant as you can see and I'm going to use the clone stem tool just to quickly uh, fill in these little parts here so I'm just selecting a sample from there and another sample from here and I just make sure that there is no uh, repeated pattern elements like that okay so as you can see now if I create a snapshot of this state I can show you before and after again before and after the only thing you can mention as a problem is that we lost this door here on the right because of the stretching of the image and the lines are not exactly straight for example this line I wasn't accurate enough to make it straight but it's already much better than before so that was before and that's after and if you spend a bit more time you can always be very accurate and achieve uh, the result that you are looking for and let me just show you another example with this photograph again we have very strong curved lines on the edges because of the fish islands again used on this photograph again it's the same uh, photographer Imre Tamás so I'm going to show you the end result which I achieved with the same technique I showed you so using this new amazing new feature adaptive wide angle and using the CS5 new feature the content aware fill these two uh, great features together so before and after no cropping in this case we hardly lose any detail actually we are again extending the photograph and having every line straight even as you can see in the background the ceiling the floor the door in the back the frame on the wall this uh, this door on the left everything straightened and without losing sharpness if I zoom closer you can see there's no smudged areas on the image we don't lose sharpness let me just go back to this example as well and I just show you on the face and on the background it's everything's perfect so you don't lose sharpness that's I think is a really important thing um, and another last example again before and after so let's just see again as you can see there are many straight lines here so here we can see lots of curved lines because of the fish islands and then we have nice straight lines okay and as always if you have a character a person or a statue or something like that in your photograph that also uh, adjusting these um, using this filter and adjusting the lines on your photograph will also help to show the character or uh, the person in this case in a better perspective and uh, get rid of the distortion okay so as you can see this is uh, the one of the new features of Photoshop CS6 one of the many new features but I can tell you this is a really useful thing if you have wide-angle lenses or a fisheye lens
Thanks a lot for your attention and I hope you will join me next time when I show another great new feature of Photoshop CS6.